Uh, welcome dear students, uh, good morning to all of you. So, today uh, we will going to start uh, with a new uh, topic uh, that is fermentation of milk and milk products. So, before uh, uh, starting the actual topic uh, we will see uh, some basic aspects uh, of uh, what is fermentation and uh, how it is carried out. So, fermentation uh, is a metabolic process that produces chemical change in uh, organic substrate through the action of enzymes. Okay. So, fermentation is a metabolic process that is purely carried out by uh, enzymes and it brought uh, chemical changes in a uh, organic substrate. Okay. So, this fermentation has uh, some broader uh, definitions or meanings uh, uh, in the area uh, which uh, in which these uh, terms uh, get applied. So, in case of biochemistry uh, it is uh, defined as the extraction of energy from carbohydrates uh, in absence of oxygen and uh, if you consider uh, with the fermentation with respect to food production. So, it may be broadly refers to any process uh, in which activity of microorganisms bring about desirable changes um, to a food stuff or a beverages. Uh, the, okay. So, the science of fermentation is known as zymology. Okay. So, basically fermentation is what? It is a metabolic change uh, that is carried out by enzymes and that uh, enzymes uh, brought chemical changes in organic substrate through uh, their action and they turn the product uh, into different uh, product. Okay. So, uh, basically this process involves activity of microorganisms. Okay. So, fermentation is purely carried out by microorganisms. Okay. So, in microorganisms fermentation is a primary means of producing ATP by degradation of organic nutrients anaerobically. Okay. So, when most of the microbes they respire anaerobically, so uh, this anaerobic respiration uh, is uh, some uh, process uh, that is sometimes known as fermentation and the the microbes uh, carried out uh, this process uh, that are known as anaerobic microbes and they carry out this process of anaerobic respiration to basically to generate uh, adenosine triphosphate and it is a, a source of energy for that microbes. So, humans have used uh, fermentation to produce food stuff and beverages since uh, Neolithic ages. So, this process of fermentation is uh, so traditional uh, in day-to-day uh, -to -day life also uh, our home this process uh, get carried out uh, in case of uh, curd formation from milk as well as uh, formation of idli, dokla and other products. So, th these processes are nothing but fermentation processes. Okay. So, this process is uh, traditional and it is carried out uh, since uh, uh, history. For example, fermentation is used uh, for preservation uh, in a process that produces lactic acid uh, found uh, such as sour foods uh, as pickled uh, cucumbers, then uh, kombucha, kimachi, yogurt as well as for producing alcoholic beverages such as wine and beer. So, fermentation is basically uh, carried out uh, in food production or food processing as well as uh, in various uh, uh, drinking beverages like uh, alcoholic products, uh, then wines, uh, then beers. So, uh, this process is mainly carried out in these two sectors and fermentation also occur uh, within gastrointestinal stack of all animals including humans. Okay. So, what is fermentation? So, basically it is a metabolic change or metabolic process that is carried out by uh, enzymes and that enzymes uh, change or turn organic substrate uh, into some different product that has different characteristics and different flavors and different aromas different fragrance uh, that uh, previously used uh, raw material. So, this uh, term has a broader uh, uh, definitions as far as area is concerned. Okay. So, uh, now we will going to see fermentation of milk as well as milk related product.
So, fermentation is a process in which change is brought in milk as a result of activity of one or more species of microbes or microorganisms. Okay. So, basically it is a change brought in milk. Okay. Here we are dealing with milk. So, raw material for fermentation process is milk and that milk is uh, brought uh, into some different product or it get changed to different product by the action of different types of microbes and especially uh, their microbial in that. So, as uh, milk uh, leaves the udder it is normally good medium for growth of microbes and accordingly undergoes series of biochemical changes. Uh, we know that milk is uh, uh, complete food it has all nutritional components in balanced form and it is uh, ideal and suitable environment for a growth of different microbes ok. So, uh, milk leaves uh, as milk leaves udder it is a good medium for growth of microbes and accordingly it undergoes series of biochemical changes. So, the complete process of uh, producing different changes constitute uh, milk fermentation ok. So, the complete uh, process is producing different changes constitute milk fermentation. So, many of fermentations that occur in milk also occur in various milk product also ok. So, fermentation uh, is not restricted to milk also, but there are some products uh, that are from milk also they uh, carry out fermentation process. So, spoilage of milk and its milk product resulting from the growth of acid producing fermentative bacteria occurs. So, basically spoilage of milk and milk products uh, it, it uh, occurs due to uh, the growth of acid producing fermentative bacteria and that uh, acid is nothing but lactic acid and that is produced by acid producing lactic acid bacteria. So, when storage temperature is sufficiently high to uh, grow outgrow cyclotrops or when uh, product composition is inhibitory to gram negative aerobic microorganisms ok. So, basically this process of soaring uh, it occurs in uh, sufficiently uh, uh, temperature at which cyclotrops uh, they may grow ok. So, fermented dairy uh, foods through made using lactic acid bacteria can be spoiled by growth of wild microbial strain that produces unwanted gas of flavors or ap appearance defects ok. So, the other non spore forming bacteria responsible for fermentative spoilage or dairy products are mostly uh, lactic acid producers or coliforms. So, basically spoilage or fermentation uh, uh, or spoilage involves is lactic acid producing bacteria and some coliforms. So, now we will see fermentation of milk. So, as said earlier uh, fermentation is general, generalized chemical process where biochemical changes are brought about to an organic substrate like carbohydrates, fat or proteins by the action of enzymes produced by natural or added microbes in milk. So, uh, as we have seen earlier that it is a chemical biochemical process where microbes uh, uh, produces enzymes and that enzymes alter uh, the milk as well as other products uh, and they uh, uh, turn this uh, basic substrate present in this milk just like a carbohydrate to some other form uh, as well as fat and protein to some other form and they brought chemical changes uh, or biochemical changes. So, normal fermentation cycles. So, the common changes uh, that occurs in milk uh, is the development of lactic acid with resulting coagulation of casein and the process is uh, designated as lactic as soaring of milk ok. So, the what, what are the common changes uh, brought in normal fermentation cycles they are first production of lactic acid. So, uh, as the lactic acid get produced by the action of uh, different microbes uh, that lactic acid uh, it, it acts on uh, protein casein in milk and that uh, lactic acid brings about coagulation of that casein and this process is designated as lactic as soaring of milk. So, because of regulatory uh, with which it occurs under usual conditions it is uh, called as normal fermentation of milk. So, basically lactic acid production uh, it has uh, two aspects uh, uh, one is spoilage and other is uh, fermentation. 
so if raw milk is kept under ambient environment the immediate effect is soaring followed by curdling ok so this is mainly due to production of acid usually lactic acid by certain groups of uh, bacteria present in raw milk so uh, as we know that milk ha uh, as principal carbohydrate uh, and that principal sugar in milk is uh, lactose and that lactose get fermented into lactic acid by different types of microbes that are present in milk and uh, this uh, lactic acid is the um, uh, main uh, uh, source that coagulates protein casing and it is the base point for fermentation of various uh, milk as well as milk product. So, soaring of milk is most commonly encouraged uh, spoiled foliage under tropical climate. So, holding of raw milk under ambient environment without refrigeration is therefore leads to foliage. Okay. So, the increased acidity of uh, in raw milk uh, makes it unfit for subsequent processing into fluid market milk and other milk products. So, sometimes uh, to mask it, uh, develop acidity milk products neutralize the milk with caustic soda, but this is uh, uh, malpractice and should be strictly avoided. Then next mixed fermentations. So, often uh, two or more fermentations occur in milk simultaneously for example, production of acid may be accompanied by gas formation or color change and development of ropiness may occur along with the changes in flavor. So, th there is a concept that is called mixed fermentation. So, along with lactic acid uh, there is also gas is produced uh, as well as uh, some ropiness uh, uh, like structure appears in milk and uh, some additional flavors and uh, aromas get developed in milk. So, these are nothing but a mixed fermentation. So, these mixed fermentation are due to activity of more than one species, but some microbes even in pure culture produces two or more biochemical changes in milk at a time. So, purely uh, this uh, fermentation process whether it is uh, homo fermentation or hetero or mixed fermentation, uh, these are carried out by different types and different numbers of microorganisms and uh, this uh, phenomenon is basically dependent upon uh, temperature. So, the Isertia uh, antibacterial group produces gaps of flavors and acid and ropiness. So, uh, it, it should be considered uh, under at least 4 fermentations. Okay. So, this, this, this group is an example where the, there are many species that produces one or more type of changes in milk. Okay. So, the stages of milk fermentation uh, resulting as a sequence of microbial growth are depicted in this particular figure or you can say that this is graph. So, in this graph, uh, so x axis uh, in x axis it, it is uh, acidity is mentioned and in uh, uh, y axis the time intervals is taken. Okay. So, phases from A to B is a lag phase during which microbes will add this to a new environment and will not multiply. So, this is a be, uh, nothing but a growth curve like structure. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as you, uh, you, you know that in growth curve there are 4 phases uh, that is lag, log, uh, stationary and decline. So, in first phase the microbes add this to new environment and uh, uh, here the A to B is uh, uh, recognized or signifies as a lag phase during which the microbes will adjust to new environment and will not multiply. So, lactococcus species naturally present in raw milk grow first and produces acid up to approximately 0.9 percent lactic acid uh, that is uh, phase B to C. So, first that lactococcus will adjust into new environment that is uh, milk and uh, then after uh, uh, getting set into that particular new environment that lactobacil uh, lactococcus species which is present in raw milk it get uh, started uh, dividing and uh, eventually it produces lactic acid and it is uh, uh, approximately 0.9 for uh, 0.95 percent, uh, percent and uh, and this phase is recognized uh, as a b to c which is seen in this graph so, eventually the acid um, restrict the growth of lactococcus species, uh, then lactobacillus species also normally present in milk become uh, predominant uh, that is it is uh, uh, present in C to D. Okay. 
so as lactic acid get accumulates uh, it it it's uh, uh, get harmf harmful effects on uh, initial lactococcus species so that lactococcus species um, it replaced by uh, another species that is uh, lactobacillus species and this lactobacillus species uh, we found predominant in phase c2 d so these lactobacillus species are more acid tolerant than lactococcus species and hence they are able to survive acidity already produced and grow slowly producing more acidity so up to 2% of lactic acid uh, they produce so uh, lactobacillus species like uh, streptococcus species cannot survive under high acidic milk so at this step a typical acid tolerant yeast and molds they are start uh, growing so that is uh, recognized by phase d2e here uh, this is uh, shown uh, in phase d2e that molds and yeast are prevalent in this particular phase uh, the, due to the acid tolerance uh, of these species so uh, as this step uh, the uh, typical acid tolerant yeast and molds they are start growing uh, that is phase d2e using uh, acid and producing uh, uh, several uh, of basic components that tend to neutralize the acidity so uh, geotrichum can geotrichum candidum may grow on the surface of coagulated milk and oxidize lactic acid for uh, 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 water and co2 so a change from very high acid product to uh, one that is basic it takes place okay so at uh, overall acidic medium it gets shifted to basic condition ok. So, during this phase uh, that is E to F proteolytic microbes predominate. So, when lactose is exhausted and proteolytic uh, and spore forming uh, bacilli they develop and they decompose casein and finally, water and little fat get remain. So, proteolytic bacteria like um, uh, molds produces basic products as a result of the milk become extremely alkaline. Uh, with, with pH range from 8 to 10. So, initially acidic condition in milk it get totally shifted to basic condition and uh, this is the basic hallmark of fermentation cycles and the organic matter of milk is reduced to simple inorganic substances like CO2, ammonia and hydrogen sulphide. Then next uh, desirable fermentation fermentations. So, it is type of fermentation that is brought about by addition of desirable microorganisms or startle culture that is lactic acid bacteria uh, with the intention of making fermented milk product uh, in that we will going to see homo fermentation. So, homo fermentation is what the growth of desirable starter culture in milk resulting in conver conversion of lactose into exclusive end product of lactic acid uh, is called homo fermentation. So, here uh, the homo fermentation uh, it is carried out by one group of microorganisms and in this particular uh, type of homo, homo fermentation the principal mix sugar that is lactose it get fermented to produces uh, lactic acid and uh, th this type of fermentation is known as homo fermentation where lactose sugar get fermented into product called lactic acid. So, in homo fermentative lactic acid bacteria the lactose transport across cell membrane. Okay, involves phosphoenol pyruvate dependent phosphotransferase system wherein the lactose is phosphorylated to lactose P lactose phosphate and uh, that is uh, glycosyl P uh, beta uh, glycoside 6 phosphate during its translocation. So, basically lactose is present in uh, outer medium and it get transported within the cell and where it get fermented. So, this uh, in this system uh, the lactose P is hydrolyzed by beta phosphogalactosidase uh, it is this is an enzyme to deal uh, glucose and galactose uh, you know that lactose is disaccharide for and it, it gets splitted by the action of enzyme into glucose and galactose and glucose is metabolized to pyruvate via EMB pathway and in the metabolism of galactose it is first converted into glyceraldehyde phosphate via uh, d tacto 6 uh, phosphate pathways. So, two pathways are involved uh, in this lactic acid fermentation. So, these are EMP for metabolism glucose and tacto 6 phosphate pathway for metabolism of gal galactose. So, these are the two pathways that is actually converts principal milk uh, sugar in milk that is lactose into lactic acid. So, lactose uh, in the streptococcus uh, uh, salivariasis species uh, then 
Thermophilus and Lactobacillus uh, Delverki species, then Bulgaricus uh, transported into cell by an enzyme that is called as permease or PEPPTS system, and these microorganisms possesses beta D uh, galactosidase that is B gal enzyme which hydrolyzes lactose into beta D galactose and D glucose. So, uh, glucose is converted into lactic acid via uh, EM pathway. So, transformation of lactose to lactic acid uh, occurs as follows. The first step is hydrolysis of lactose into uh, glucose and galactose as we have already uh, studied that lactose is disaccharide and it is made up of glucose as well as galactose and while uh, lactic acid fermentation the lactose sugar is first break down into glucose as well as galactose then glucose is uh, uh, fermented via EM uh, pathway and galactose is uh, fermented via lactose 6 phosphate pathway or it is it get metabolized. So, the transformation of lactose to lactic acid is not a quantitative and the fermentation uh, yields other products. So, the they are called as secondary products which may include various acids, aldehydes uh, and alcohols. So, besides uh, uh, lactic acid there are some other products they also get produced while the lactic acid fermentation and these are uh, various kinds of aldehydes, acids and alcohol. So, the nature uh, and quantity of the secondary uh, products vary greatly with different organism and the products are very important since they greatly influence the flavor of fermented milk. Then next uh, heterofermentation. So, besides producing lactic acid uh, there are uh, production of some other co components uh, uh, like ethanol, CO2, uh, uh, then uh, lactic acid. So, these are uh, these type of fermentation uh, are known as like homo or uh, so, sorry hetero fermentation. So, lactic acid bacteria producing large quantities of ethanol, CO2 as well as lactic acid when grown on lactose or glucose are considered as a hetero fermentative microorganism. So, basically this type of fermentation it is carried out by different groups of microorganisms and in that uh, different uh, products uh, are produced uh, besides lactic acid and the, it, it includes uh, ethanol then CO2 ok. So, CO2 is produced by oxidative decarboxylation of cis phosphogluconate then ethanol is produced by reduction of acetaldehyde and lactic acid is uh, as usual produced by EM pathway. So, this is overall uh, scenario for uh, uh, fermentation of milk. Uh, in next lecture, we will see abnormal fermentations and some spoilage related issues in milk. Okay? Thank you.